Hey, 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 what's up YouTube and welcome back to 60 seconds where I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna try to keep at least, you know what? Timmy has been a beast in this game and I wanna try my best to keep Timmy alive at, as, uh, at least. So let's hop right in it, new game. And then we go a classic, cause I don't wanna do any challenges, apocalypse. And we've only done normal so far, which gives you a 10 second exploration time, right? What happens? How long can we survive if we go hard mode? Zero seconds. Health issues is call 911. Common. Health issues is common. Holy shit. Scavenge time. 60 seconds. Uh, fragile, fragile equipment like glass. Stock shelter on hard is empty. Some junk. Unwanted visitors. Some... Hordes, so many unwanted visitors. I'm just checking what uh, what there is with hard mode. But you know what? Let's begin it. Let's go with Ted. Let's see what we can get. No exploration time, so we just have to smash and grab. Let's go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's just gonna start with the siren. Let's go. Okay. Uh. Shit. Okay, Dolores. Uh, soup. Axe. Shit. Okay. Okay, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Some water, definitely water. Uh, med pack, water. I don't know what that thing was. Uh, I don't know if I'm wasting time. Run, 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 run. Okay, suitcase, water, uh, water. I'm not gonna get people. Shit! Okay, 30 seconds. Let's grab Timmy. Um, and speaker, and water. I need soup, oh my god, I need soup, I need the food, uh, will I make it, will I make it, will I make it, will I make it, just soup, just soup, just soup, bug spray, soup, okay, we're not gonna get the girl, unfortunately, is there anything else we can get in this time, I don't know what that is, harmonica, we didn't get the flashlight, this round is screwed, this round is screwed, what a rush, I got the suitcase, I didn't get a map, I didn't get, I got a radio, no map, no flashlights, I got the axe, because there's gonna be, I didn't get the gun, there's hordes coming, day one. Well, she's dead. We barely got stuff, but I got food, I got supplies. Oh, Monica, let's go. Almost all of us made it to the shelter, almost. All we can do now is start thinking of creative ways to serve our canned soup. Our sh shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans, we'll sleep on cans, we'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. Cool! One minute it was all fine and the next we were at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane. We need to get uh, grip on ourselves, survive. Let's just keep it going. So I've played about three rounds now in total. So I'm just gonna steamball it. Uh, a lot of the stuff is the same. But if there's people tuning in for the first time watching me this play, this play this game, I'm just gonna actually continue reading. We stopped arguing, but for how long? No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. Uh, fine and fine, nothing new. So the first few days is always fine. I actually got the same amount. Enough of this plain tasteless water. Dolores is really craving a cup of coffee. Real true blue American coffee, the kind that you can drink five cups and still feel sleepy, but where are we going to find that in this wasteland? Well, the Laura's favorite diner is, uh, used to be a few blocks away. Maybe someone should go on a coffee run, but who? Screw the coffee! It's only the second day. I get it though. Strangely enough, I can't drink coffee. I just go immediately into a panic attack. We're not going to risk our necks for this. We have more important things in our minds. The cracks in the wall aren't going to uh, count themselves. So, he's thirsty, thirsty, and thirsty. This is day three. I'm gonna leave it for now. I don't know if that will like be bad for me. Let's go for a supply run. Should we? Let's do it. My goal is to save Timmy so Ted can go out. Let's see. Nothing to take with. Ever since we jumped into our fall shelter, we've been wondering about the other door in the shelter. Should we, should it even be there? What is this? Ever since we jumped into our shelter, we've been wondering about that other door in the shelter. Where does it lead? It, it's high time we checked it out. Have nothing to check it out with. I think this is going to be such a quick round. Let's see. 
Okay. Some things are better left untouched and unknown. Whatever is behind that door will stay there. We also stack some furniture against it just to be sure nothing comes through them. Water, water, water. Gravy. Everyone just wants water and I understand. So, who's gonna go out? You'll go out. And you can take the bug spray with you. Okay, he's gonna be gone for like two or three days or, three or four days. Let's see. Day five. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Uh, Ted left. Time to ration supplies. Hear that? No. Because no one is talking. Not a word in hours. Not at all. We can't just stare and stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. Ah, I should have clicked the, the radio, man. Maybe I should just put it on myself. There you go. There's nothing here. Maybe if we uh, try really hard, we can hear the neighbors in the shelter. Timmy is really tired. The Lord's really, really tired. Okay. The days are going super fast. We found some weird mushrooms growing on one of the walls. Food shortage is no laughing matter, so maybe it would be a good idea. So basically what happens if they eat the mushrooms is they get sick. So no, I've learned it. Stick to the canned soups, no mushrooms. It's been a week. It's been a week. We may be hungry, but there are just some things we will never eat. Okay, so bo both of them should eat. Play a game, they said it will be fun. They said they never mentioned picking one would be so trouble. So much trouble. This is going... Why is this snoring? We thought, it, we thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. The silence was too annoying and quickly stopped. Uh, terrible. We need to give him water. Water. Everyone wants water. There it is again. There it goes again. Noises. Weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes? Walls? Is it something behind the door? We don't know. And we have nothing. We have nothing this round. I do... He's going mental? <laughs> So, it's not weird that Timmy is now wearing a soup uh, can on his head and pretends it's a helmet. This is just innocent child's play, or is it? Boredom can really get to you in the shelter. It can lead you to dark places. Trust us. Timmy was driven crazy. Oh my god. Dolores is fine. Wow. I'll give you some soup and some water, buddy. He actually went crazy. It's been a while. We don't know much about what's happening on the surface. Um, tune into the radio. Let's do it. Wow. Tennis are still not back. It's been like four days, I think. We're able, we were able to get a weak signal to tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what great news the fallout has the fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. No news is good news, so Timmy is fine, still uh, whacked out of his head. If there's anyone who can rescue us from this sh hellish situation, it's our government. You can badmouth them all you want, but that probably means you're either a naysayer or a commie. So, never mind, the government people are coming and we should keep our ears and eyes open for any sign from them. We just keep it running. What about batteries though? Oh, Ted is back! And he brought some soup, some bullets, we don't have a gun. We made contact, the military is out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this. Help us on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions and keep our radio in working order. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. We went, to the, we went on a trip to a more specific place this time. A local museum on Tranquility Lane. Several rooms and a corridor wall decorated with some charred paintings that survived the blast. The whole place doesn't even look like that bad. It's almost like a modern art exhibit. We were hoping for some sweets or snacks, but all the museum canteen had to offer was tomato soup. Those poor, poor tourists. Two soups, let's go. The gift shop was a sorry state. In a sorry state. While it's still standing, the whole place was flooded with souvenirs and junk. Or both. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. The only useful thing we found was a padlock that was 
securing the safe behind the counter. The safe itself was empty, of course. So we got a lock. That's good to keep hordes out. The half ruined wall is that that's is all that's left of the main corridor. Some paintings are still hanging, but they're but they're almost unrecognizable. At the end of the corridor, we found a museum guard sitting on a chair, or at least something that used to be a museum guard. We found some ammo in this pocket, or at least something that used to used to be his pocket. We got ammo. We don't have a gun. We're we are worried about Timmy's state of mind. He's not doing very well. He is loco. The Lord's can't remain this thirsty. Ted looks very weak if he doesn't eat today. You know what? Let's give a can of soups to everyone and water to everyone. This is going to be a short round because they're going to die so quickly. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb dropped. Yet, here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be a phone booth. There's nothing going on. There's nothing going on. It's a trap. I've been through that scenario and I've never seen one come out where there's nothing happening. Timmy has still gone mad. He has a bear. Let's see what happens. It's just way too dangerous, okay? Randomly going to a phone, middle of the radioactive ghost town. We're worried about Timmy's state of mind. He's not doing very well. Uh, Calm for Dolores, rumbling, so he's hungry. Okay, day 12. We're doing better than I expected. We stumbled upon the remains of a bandit shanty town. Someone or something tore it down. Incidentally, amidst the rubble, we found a cat licking its paws uh, nonchalantly. Surrounded by blood and dismembered limbs, as we made our way back to the shelter, the cat followed. We can now hear its paws impatiently scratching our hatch. Should we let it inside? So, Sharikov is the cat's name, and Sharikov is back. Thank goodness uh, the cat doesn't eat. We opened the hatch, the cat jumped in and marched around the whole shelter. Timmy is no longer crazy. Timmy has rested. Dolores is fine as well. And uh, he is still hungry. You're eating all the food that you found. Oh shit, Timmy has to go out. What do we give him? Suitcase, let's go. Do it fast, Timmy, do it fast. I think I heard a knock. Timmy went outside. Dolores can't remain the thirsty and Ted is hungry. Jesus, Ted, you went, got all the food and now you're eating it all. As we were considering alternatives to the canned soup diet, a sudden knock at the door broke our line of thought. It turned out we were visited by a band of survivors who were in pretty bad shape. All they wanted us to to get something to drink, a bite to eat, or at least clean bandages and medicine to attend to dead wounds. Hell no! I could have given them some soup, but no. I want to see how far I can go because I really want to save to. Well, we got robbed. Fucking survivors. Our refusal to provide for our visitors was not rude, and yet the minute we denied their request, they launched at us with their fist. Stones and branches. We thought we were as good as dead, but those barbarians were were satisfied enough to steal our supplies when they left all we could do was ponder what to do in this very very empty shelter hey we got robbed whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius but we can't really rely on anything so all i can do now is just skip through the game until timmy comes back how do we still have that though we, could, we couldn't figure it out, so we just assumed that it... That... Assumed that's what a regular pipe would do in the event of a nuclear block, uh, apocalypse and decided to ignore it. We've been feeling a bit funny today. Probably no connection to the pipe, none whatsoever. While playing in the shelter, Sharikov stumbled upon a small wooden box that was hidden behind the, some loose bricks. It contained some useless memorabilia and and a can of bug spray. So that's how we got the can, because we were completely empty. Uh, they're both gonna die. Being safe down here is much better than being uh, pulverized out there, but that doesn't mean we don't want to go outside. Maybe we should take a walk soon. The neighborhood is probably much more peaceful than the bombings. I agree, go outside. It will skip the time. Oh my God! Already the end? Oh jeez. What the hell? 
Still, it's better to be safe down here than up there. De uh, than dead up there. Timmy can sneak like a secret agent man, but that might not be enough uh, to avoid the band of raiders. Camp near our shelter. We can probably assume he isn't coming back. If we only had a few drops of water, the Loros could have made it and... Wait, what? Too many days without water took their toll. Ted out of dehydration. Surviving the apocalypse is no easy task. We can tell you that much. We held out for 17 days. All of us are okay. Jeez, 17 days. <laughs> wow. That was a short one. Well, it is what it is. Wow. Okay, hard mode is no joke, but you know what? That leaves room for so much, so many more rounds to play. So you know what? Let's go again. What do we need? I need to find at least, you know what? I'm gonna focus on Timmy, not the people, but the supplies. Map, radio, flashlight, axe, and that kind of stuff. So. Map, radio, flashlight, um, the axe, the gun, and food. I'm gonna prioritize one person. Let's grab, since this is already here. No room. Shit! Grab it quicker, please. To me, radio. There's bug spray. I don't know what I grab now. I don't know what I grab now. Where's the gun? Okay. 30 seconds left. Axe. Soup. Water. Shit! Uh, can I grab someone else? Let's grab her. Flashlight. Please. Let there be space. I can grab one more. No, two more. Shit. A briefcase! No! <laughs> I, I think I got the axe. I don't have the map. I never get the map. I don't know where the map is. Whew. I got two people though. This time the Loras can go on. So I got lots of cans, lots of water, flashlight for the first time. I've got tools. Of, that's what I grabbed the book. And playing cards. Okay, let's go. So here we are. I'm gonna skip these for now. Uh, cans, plenty of water. Everyone should be fine. Um, we can just skip on to the next day. We wish we could just leave sitting down here with do nothing. Uh, drive us, but drive us crazy. Tell me when crazy. Let's see. Day two. Nothing's gonna happen really in the first few days. We get a care of ourselves. Not worried. Well, nothing much with Ted. All right. Our neighbor is still uh, highly. Our neighborhood is still highly reactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk for us health right now. You know what? Let's go. Let's take it. I'm gonna take a trip every time there is a chance. This dreadful silence is becoming boring. Anything we can do about that? Anything at all to make it more entertaining? So the next day, I'm gonna send out Mary Jane. Let's see what happens with her. Okay. Ha! How fortunate we took the radio with us. We could probably listen to some music. They still play music out, out there, don't they? Everyone has to drink something. So you know what? Let's give everyone some water. It's about time we chose to, chain, uh, to scavenge the remains. Mary Jane can go with the axe. Is an axe... Is the axe the best thing to use now? Um... Since raiders can come in. Screw any survivors coming. Mary Jane went outside. Okay and okay. Let's go. Day four. Easy game. Someone is very serious about banging on the hatch. We are scared to open it. But it might be some good news, right? We would gladly welcome any friendly face. Even if it is. If what's our neighbor? neighbor? Ned. We're pretty sure that, it, that if there was any reason why our town got bombed. He could be. Let's open it to see what happens. Imagine I die in, f in the first four days. Okay, at least no one came to ransack us again. Let's see who it was. We opened the hatch, but there wasn't nobody there. Damn pranks was making jokes even after the apocalypse. Uh, 
Good, good. Everyone's good. Easy game. There are so... There are only so many things you can do in a tiny bunker, so we thought, oh, hey, why not play some games? I did bring card games, so... This is going well, this is going well. Day 6 already, we made it to day 14 on hard mode. We thought playing that silent game would be a good idea, the silence was too annoying and we quickly stopped. Apple juice, but water and... Doesn't... He won't last. Okay, so water for everyone. Easy. The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans and that unmentioned mentionable bucket is overflowing. Both of them are attracting strangely glowing, suspiciously big insect wildlife. I didn't bring this. Let's use the book. Because imagine we didn't, they'd probably be sick. Day seven. Hey, Mary Jane's back. I think I see some water. I don't really see anything. I see the axe. I think she brought canned soup. That was a close one. A nest of those glowing bugs might have been more than enough to drive us out of the wasteland. Roaches are the worst, but radiac roaches, yikes. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. She brought that. We were about to give up on uh, and come back empty-handed to the shelter when we ran into a church. So it did. they did bring two bottles of water. It looked like peaceful enough. Sa save for... Save. Shouldn't that be safe? Safe. For an unexploded atomic bomb stuck in the church tower a sizable group of people were busy praying to the to the bomb chanting something about the the holy vision that sounded really crazy but these people seem friendly enough cultists decided they wanted to they won't be needing any holy water we did a bit of miracle work and turned empty wine bottles into quite full water bottles nice Mary Jane is quite hungry and tired eat and eat Everyone is hungry, and we've got the canned soups. Let's go again. Ted, your time. Your turn. Your time has come. You maniacs! You blew it up! Ah, oh, damn you. Damn you all to hell! That's something we should have told our neighbors when they blew up the, their barbecue last spring. Those were good times, even if they wasted a perfectly good barbecue. Bunch of bitches. Let's see what happens. What we make of today will be our tomorrow. So let's uh, let's make it right. Uh, food. Good. Whatever. So food for Mary Jane. And Ted is going to go out with. Go out to play. What the, the kids want to play. Let's go to the Boy Scout book. Did I not take meds? I took meds. That was the first thing I took. She look. She looks roughed up. Mary Jane's dad could use a little food. Hungry, nothing. But he should drink. So hungry, thirsty. Let's go. Uh, hungry, thirsty. Okay. If there's anyone who can rescue us from the hellish situation, it's our government. So let's switch on the radio and see if we can get a signal from them. This is going better than the previous game. Well, for now. We don't really have bullets, but we have one gun, one axe, and a flashlight if they need it. We knew it, the government has not fallen and they're coming to save us. They don't, didn't give us exact dates in their radio transmission. But we're, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to wait, await further instructions. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Drink. Okay. Stop painting! Ever since we jumped into our fallout shelter, we've been wondering about that other door in the shelter. Should it be even be here? What does it where does it lead? It's high time we checked it out. No. Flashlight. Let's go. Oh we got a map in We got a map there! It was a very fortunate we had that flashlight. If it wasn't for that, we would have missed a pile of old maps collecting dust in a corner. They were mostly boring national parks and the... And the... What? Park? Maps? And the like... But what? They were mostly boring national park maps. And the like. Okay. But one of them turned out to be a map of our town. Mary Jane is feeling safe. 
And everyone is fine! Making the best out of the situation, he even seemed cheerful. What the hell? Is this like what's gonna happen? <laughs> Everyone's fine. We're surviving this a lot better. What in the hell are the sounds? Are they coming from the goddamn walls? They are driven they are driving us crazy. So start tearing them down. Maybe we try something to relax for a bit. And that's why they didn't send Ted with the playing cards because we're only a bunch of kids in the shelter, which is actually scary. Hey, Ted made it back. I think he brought more soup. No water. Nothing else. A jug of water. And I think that. Let's see what he went up to. Having some fun made us forget about. What was it again? Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Our need for entertainment looked, took us to the local cinema. A portion of the theater is still standing, including at least once in our hall. We went in hoping to scavenge something. Or at least find some film posters. When we recognize the sign of the, sign of the food stand sticking from between the rubble, we were hoping to find some popcorn. There was none, but the tomato soup dispenser was still working. Yay! But two tomato cans and two waters and a lock. The only thing left of the ticket booth is the door with a padlock on it. The security here must have been questionable. Someone forgot to take the key out and then this was used uh he lost it so okay water and hungry uh okay hungry war nice how well, we're gonna survive this thing easy we didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb so no one is going gonna go out to check it because it's way too dangerous Alright, Timmy still looks fine. It's just way too dangerous. Water, eat, eat. Water, eat, eat. Let's go out again. Who would it be this time? Not Ted, not Mary Jane. It will have to be Timmy. We stumbled upon the remains of a bandit shanty town. Someone or something tore it down incidentally. Amidst the rubble, we found a cat. Let's get Sharikov back. He's back! I saw in Insim's playthrough another big YouTuber who actually like played this game and I saw it and I really wanted to play it myself and that hence why I started playing it that in one of his thumbnails there was a dog which was apparently Timmy's friend and I don't know how the story goes to get him but we shall see. When we ho opened the hatch the cat came and it's Sharikov. There is nothing much to bother. He's fine. And a rumbling, so he's hungry. I might just send him out again at this point, but he can't, so. Should we use the map? Let's use the map. Let's give Timmy a map. Hopefully he won't be lost. Otherwise it's just bad. But I really want Timmy to be the one to survive. Knocks on the door. Let's see what happens. Mary Jane died, could use a little food. She's hungry. Timmy went outside to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do, okay? Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. You know what? Food and water for all. There's a knock on the door. Open in the name of freedom! Came a shouting shout from outside our door. We weren't sure uh, who claimed to be resurrected. No! Screw you! Day 16, we're already past the previous day. We stayed unt silent until the group on the other side of the door went away. They didn't show up afterwards, so we figured it was the wise thing to do. Let's just hope they don't come back in greater numbers. Rested, and Ted is fine. Easy peasy. It has become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter over the po last couple of hours. We respect, suspect there is something wrong with the ventilation. Maybe it got stuck somehow, but how? We need to investigate or we might suffocate. Sure, let's investigate. Good thing I have a flashlight, but I see that I need to like sacrifice one or two people and get as many tools in this game as possible. What did we get? Because I don't see anything. The obvious thing to do when a vent is blocked is to check what's blocking it. However, when you shine your flashlight on a hive of mutated insects, things usually go from bad to worse. The, and the angry hive is gone, but the insects did something, some biting before they fled. Mary Jane, wait, what? 
Oh, that one is sick. He's bloody! Yeesh. Okay. Mary Jane, she's fine and Ted was hurt. Shame. It's been a while, we don't know how much uh, what's happening on the surface if we only had a radio to broadcast a thing or two. Day 18! And our boy's back, he brought a gas mask. Timmy for the win. Oh, he's tired. He's probably hungry. Let's go. Let's see what Timmy brought back. Uh, travel. So we were able to get a weak signal and tap into the, emerg the emergency announcement services government. And guess what? Great news. The fallout has mostly gone. We were afraid, so afraid for Timmy, but he brought back the map. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. Uh, our expedition went directly to visit the primary school, not for education, of course, oh no. We were desperate for supplies and go to school was the best chance of getting them. The, bi the biology class, so I have had this scenario where, we, where he went to the school, right? Uh, back then in that game, we got the map, but now we got a gas mask. So let's see what else we got, but the aquarium water could still be drinkable. So we got two bottles of water, one gas mask. And uh, so she's thirsty, he's probably hungry and thirsty. So thirsty, thirsty, wait, what? Timmy is hungry, thirsty. You know what, I'll give you, I'll give you the whole package. Let's send someone out again, Mary Jane this time. Sherikov can, uh, can, sure can take care of itself, but we can't help but wonder how much of a self-made cat is it? Is it just to, it just so happens that we found an address on its collar. Uh, no, we're not gonna go out to the address because it will be by its owner, the owner will take him back and the cat will come back eventually. Alright, what's happening? The cat made a choice to stay here and will respect it. It's impressive, Mary Jane is fine and Timmy is very hungry, so hungry. And he's well, so Timmy is hungry, again. Alright, enough sitting around, it's time to visit the surface. So... What do we send her with gas mask? No. Shotgun? No. Uh, no. Playing cards. Let's use the playing cards. Wait. Radio. The radio might go away. Let's give her an axe. I don't know. Let's give her an axe. Day 20. Alright. She went with the axe. Eat and Ted nothing. So whenever they go out, they just eat all the food up. We were able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing for a rescue mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific location in the area. That then leave a sign that someone is still alive and kicking nearby. So we take the map. Otherwise, it's just gobbledygook. We take the map and we follow them to see if it's something. Because they're going to have some supply drops, hopefully. So it's been three weeks. Let's see. A quick glance at the map gave us all the information we required. We left them a message and a bottle, which I think is not gonna do anything. Uh, so he's thirsty. Both are thirsty. I've got the water for you guys. Time to listen to the, uh, some radio chatter. Maybe we'll pick up some shred of information. I'm flying through these guys. I've already seen these situations, these scenarios. If you guys have not actually seen these scenarios, Go back and watch one of my two videos that's right down in the description. I'll leave it there. Let's go. Nothing and no nothing, nothing and nothing. We could hear nothing but the, um, but the annoying static. Better luck next time. No news from Tommy and Ted's stomach is rumbling. He's hungry. There's a knock on the door. Let's see. You would expect the post-apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet since, you know, most of the people aren't around anymore. Yet, we, we, yet here we have someone at the door. When we opened it up, we encountered a strange looking man in a blue jumpsuit who asked us to trade him a bottle of trade him a water chip. A water chip? What in the hell is that? You know what? Let's do it before he just like steals everything. Hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully we'll get something in return. I gave one water bottle and we got more. The visitor wasn't very happy that we didn't have a water chip or that we didn't know what that was. He did hit he did help himself to, to the water we offered him and explained the chip is of utmost importance. Before we learned anything more, he, he left for the wasteland. Timmy is pretty fatigued. This morning has been calm enough for Ted. Wait, how did I just have a lot of water? What happened? Okay. 
Tired and calm. Okay, nothing happened. The holes in our bunker walls weren't just uh, big enough for rats, they can easily fit a cat. We noticed that Cherikov has been sneaking outside every other night and coming back in the morning. Maybe it found something edible nearby and likes to go out for the midnight snack. If that's the case, we want we want in on this plan. Should we follow it? Sure. I can't remember what happens with this scenario. There's a lot that's happening. I don't think he liked it. Oh, shit, he got sick. Sharkov took us to an old junkyard that's inhabited only by a, lo a lone resident, a self-proclaimed scientist living in an old bus converted into a lab to conduct his experiments. The dog seemed happy to have his pet back, so this happens every time. <laughs> Although the cat showed no enthusiasm at the prospect, we exchanged some small talk, but truth be told, we were kind of in a hurry to get out of there. The scientist didn't seem completely sane. He mentioned something about escaping the wasteland in a spaceship. Timmy has been uh, talking about nothing other than water and Ted should drink something soon. Ted got sick. Okay, so water for all. Peculiar. It seems that the whole shelter has been shaking every couple of minutes and it feels like it's getting stronger every time this happens. Here it comes again and it's way worse. It's an earthquake. Hold on to something. So I'm guessing we're about to save something, right? We're gonna hold on to everything, save the stuff, and everything else is gonna fall and break. That will be super sad. I call it! Earthquake or not, so nothing is going to stand between us and our daily dose of radio static. We were able to grab it before it could fall down and get smashed. Timmy's on his best behavior and nothing about Ted. What? What about Ted's injuries? Is there, is there, no, 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 no. Nothing can be done about Ted's injuries. Time to ration supplies. Timmy got back to the shelter. Wait, he got back? He was missing? Did I send Timmy? I don't remember. From his expedition and looked fine, but it turned out he had hurt his hand on a piece of rusty metal. Oh my gosh. We're gonna die with this. He's gonna die because of rust. Everyone looks battered up. Hold up. Oh, she brought that back. What else did she bring? I don't see water. She didn't bring anything back. The best metaphor for sickness injury is to clench your teeth and ignore it. Eat a teaspoon of concrete and man the f up. That's what our grandma always said. Of course, she's dead now and has been for a while, ever since she got that nasty frog bite at the age of 25. When we wake up today, we discovered that Sharikov somehow found his way back to the shelter. Does that mean it's stay? Uh, it'll stay for good? We're not sure. What exactly transpired between the little guy and its owner? We asked, but it wouldn't tell us. Shed it to cat. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. <sighs> Timmy is sick. Ted is sick. We have no meds. Mary Jane is fine. This is how this is how we're gonna die in this game now. Our little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed. We should be careful. Only a handful of buildings in our town survived the last, the last wave. One of them was the local bus station. It has to be. Oh, it brought back two waters. The central hub for bums and vagabonds in the area, but now it just stands there empty. We decided it's worth checking out, hoping someone left a few soup cans behind. Our local athletics team was preparing to depart for a championship taking place somewhere in the boondocks. Their bus was full of refreshing water and spare shoes. Unfortunately, none of them were a match for us, so we just took all the water bottles. They just had two. Hungry, fatigued, tired. Hungry... Uh, what? Okay. You know what? Food for everyone, this for everyone. I don't have maids. This is how we're gonna die. We didn't expect to get a call so soon. You know what? You're sick, go outside. Get some fresh air, hopefully you'll feel better. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a, gr a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong in their side. We hope they will get back to us. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Uh, food for Mary Jane and extra blanket. He's shivering all the time. No new problems are troubling Ted. So just food. You know what? Uh, you eat up, you drink up. Honestly. Let's go again. 
We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach, we still haven't, uh, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is they're probably scared of any, any rats in the area. We have nothing against anything except raiders. In the first round, raiders just like ransacked the place and we died. 28 days. I think this is like, this is gonna be Ted's last like ride. We underestimated the value of a cat in this environment. We thought we had a cockroach infestation on our hands, but Sharikov took care of it while we were asleep. Cat! Was it reminded of its hunting days before the bombs dropped? Was it mesmerized by the roach's glow? Or does it just give an undeniable thirst for fresh cockroach blood? We'll never know, but we're grateful that we don't have to deal with the insects ourselves any longer. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Uh, shit. You know what? Food for everyone. Food for everyone! Timmy, go out. Take your gun. Let's do this. Get us another flashlight, please. Timmy is literally the MVP every time. Now the days are gonna go by, Ted is gonna die. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying that out loud. Timmy went out, and all Ted wishes for is a few drops of water. Let's do this. Maybe I'll get better just with rest and food. A loud crash, a surprise shriek, and a bit of a debris falling from our ceiling. Truly, a recipe for a good start to the day. As it turns out, Cherikov found a new toy, a bit of innocuous wiring that is ripped out of the wall. Who knows what the cable's for? What the cable's for? But our lights are still on, so it can't be that important, right? Should we take the wire away from the fluffy friend and investigate it? No, he will scratch you. I've learned this. Day 30. We're doing so much better than, than uh, the, the previous round. Holy shit. We don't really risk pissing off the shirk off. Water and Ted is getting worse and worse. How do we do something about it? Spoons will do nothing. Or he's done for. So, water. Okay, bye Ted. He's dead. We were afraid to, the army wouldn't get back to us, but they eventually did. The next transmission was full of evacuation promises. But it ended up uh, on a big F. The speaker requested that any survivor groups uh, armed with firearms should dispose of them before they get rescued. We sent Timmy out with the gun, so now we don't have a gun. Let's go! Ha ha ha! That's just luck. Otherwise, we had to throw away the gun. Oh my god, this guy is... He's close to dead. How did that break? We decided to ignore those stupid orders. Who are they to tell us what to do? The, the US government? Well, they were probably they probably are, but that doesn't mean they can take take our gun over our dead bodies. It's impressive how Mary Jane is handling the situation so well, and Ted is gonna die. Let's just feed him for all time's sake. This is insane! We keep finding spiders everywhere. They're in our soup. They're in our water. We swear some of them keep coming back and they are bigger every time we see them. We have nothing against them. Please don't let us die of spiders. Let us become Spider-Man. New species mute. <laughs> what? Okay. While we were asleep, Sharikov made short work of those pesky spiders. He chased them around until all of them ran away through cracks in the shelter walls. Let's hope they stay gone for good. During our vicious fight with dozens of spiders, one got lucky and bit Mary Jane. It didn't seem curious, serious, but when we got up this morning, she was different. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. We believe that our one expedition to the wasteland must have been followed, so it's dangerous. During our expedition, we stumbled upon the ruins of a familiar building, our local bank. Although a place like that might not be the ideal source of useful supplies, we decided to go in anyway. You never know what you might find except for uh, four bags of cash, obviously. It looks like the bank was robbed just before the blast. The vault was cracked open with saws, hidden in teddy bears. Who does that? Anyway. We can see why they wanted to rob, us so, uh, rob it so badly. The place was full of tomato soup cans. How did it end up here? Maybe the mail had it delivered to the bank instead of a food bank. Four cans of tomatoes. Holy crap. So much for the rifle, it got damaged. Shit. 
We found a shopping bag on the floor next to the uh, counters. It contained a couple of rotten bananas, a hand cream, pair of bunny, f a hand cream, pair of bunny slippers, and some bottle of water. Where are those items? Uh, anyway, Mary Jane isn't worried, uh, or at least she's not saying it out loud. Eat and <sighs> eat. Teddy's gonna die probably. So now we send out. Are we gonna send out Ma uh, mutant Mary Jane? You would expect a nuclear explosion would be enough to uh, quench any petty arguments, but everyone started fighting and going crazy. Teddy's gonna die now. It's been a couple of days. He's not dead? How? Wow. Okay, so being sick doesn't really matter. In Enough arguing. There are more important things to worry about. So nothing bothering her. Eat something. Uh, okay. Eat. This is a good day to go outside. Stretch a bit. Uh, get some fresh toxic air. Maybe scavenge a thing or two. We sure could use some extra supplies. That if we want to survive. So let's take her. The mutant Mary Jane. Axe? No, we can't defend ourselves. Map. Playing cards. Radio. Lock. What do you guys think? Mutant Mary Jane with an axe. You know what? Let's do playing, uh, playing cards. Why not? <laughs> if we lose her, we're done for. The end! How? Oh, Timmy made it! Timmy survived! But what happened to Mary Jane right after? Did she die? Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. It's been too long. We fear something has happened to her equipment. Okay. Ted's wounds were too serious to uh, leave untreated. They became infected and, and took Ted's life. Of all places we could have perished, this is probably the, the best one, or maybe not. We survived for 34 days, and Timmy survived. That is what I wanted in this game, to have Timmy survive. Holy shit, I'm not gonna go through all of these. Spider-Man. <laughs> wow. Damn, what a round. Timmy went crazy and Mary Jane turned into a freaking mutant purple hulk. <laughs> nice. I just absolutely love this game. I love how it surprises you with new things because there's a couple of scenarios that stays the same, but then something like that happens. Either Timmy goes nuts or Mary Jane is just purple and big and it's just funny. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next round. In the next round, I think I'm gonna play this, the classic mode, the apocalypse mode, right? In normal mode, take my time, get all the equipment, maybe not all the people, to see what other scenarios will happen with a bit more scavenging time. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, like, Comment down below if you're enjoying this game. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go!